testing. I think I've finally come up with the design that will work. Okay. But that was a horrible start. <laughs> I think it's because I added the fuel tanks on the top way too heavy. way too many of them let's try that again yeah come on load why oh that's right because it's sitting on the runway already one second I gotta move it off the runway yeah <coughs> I was actually supposed to be doing weapon testing today, but uh, that didn't go as planned, of course. Something pops up like always. My original design on this uh, is what I'm going to go ahead and convert back to because I know it works. Um, it took me a long time to figure out how to... to uh, Get this thing to work properly, and I've been kind of tweaking with it since. Okay, very important. Make sure you have people inside this thing. You don't need anybody in the lander cam. I just use that as like a pivot point not very important one second also I'm gonna move something forward so I don't mess up the weight of this thing so I think it's yeah it's back heavy right now you want the center of mass to be right under the blades like the center of the blades otherwise it, it likes to tilt either which way that's not a good thing unless you want it to do a fucking crash right away and touchy touchy and there we go yeah that looks good okay it actually might be a little bit back but that's fine So I'm only going to use one pilot for this. I mean, you can use five if you want. It's up to you. I don't really care. I, for this demonstration, I technically only need one. Okay. Once you get that going, pop. And convert back over to the blades. Power them up just a touch. Let's see, right about in there should get me off. Nope, that's lantern cam. There's what we want. Give it a little nudge forward. Not too much. Not too much. Just want to nudge it. This thing actually is kind of fuel efficient. I mean, it'd be better if it was just straight off all electricity, but you can't do that on this one unless you put like a lot more of those um, reaction wheels. But, oh my god, I forgot to put the engines on this thing. Yeah, but, um, you know, it works. Work in progress. Probably should pull that out a little bit and mount that. Yeah, that's what I'll do. <coughs> so I need to change one thing. Two things, technically. Oh. 
I don't know how well or how easy it's going to be to actually connect these now that they're hidden. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard. I didn't think that through very well. Yeah, I could do it right here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stabilize this because this is causing a little bit, a bit of a bouncing problem. I mean, I'm not going to be able to stabilize it perfect because of where it is and how I put it in there. But, um... Then also I'm going to need to give it forward propulsion. It would be a good idea. Because I forgot to do that. I thought I already set that up. Apparently not. Yeah, for some reason this has been giving me problems. I guess because of how I built it with the angle of things. So, I've been having to do a lot of this kind of like one side at a time. Okay, that's about good enough. Let's go ahead and close this up. And then finish off with putting some supports on this thing so it's not as bouncy. You don't want bounce in a helicopter because bounce messes with your blade. But I'll teach you how to put this engine together. It's not too difficult. It was more of a pain of the ass of making it actually work than building it. Should have probably set up a little bit better for this video, but whatever. It gets a point across, holy crap, it's a helicopter in this game. How the fuck did he build it? I know y'all are wondering, but it's coming. I don't want to ruin everything right at the beginning. And be like, oh, well, that was a quick video, that was nice. <laughs> So I'm going to start off with moving stuff around because I forgot to. And then, okay, so the blades are going to go first. The blades don't like to be not like going, otherwise they do what they're doing right now. So we're just going to get them before they fall apart and break. Okay, that's fine. You don't want to let go. <sighs> revert to launch it should have reverted to space hangar so I could have fixed that but we're going to get the blades going a little bit so they're not like trying to spaz out on me I mean it really helps if you put supports on the blades but I keep forgetting to put supports I've actually built the helicopter perfect I had to go back and uh, change a few things then I ended up forgetting to put stuff back Okay, let's get you spinning. It's the wrong way. <laughs> We're going to have to move the entire thing to do it, though. Uh, she's going a little bit crazy. I'm going to go ahead and activate her so she stables out a little bit. Get the final go of that. And then she's popped, so she's flyable now. Okay. No. Um. Not sure why these are not one to go. So I'm gonna keep SAS on. Ah, that's right. It's not at both fuels. <laughs> Actually, I could probably be better if I do the other jets anyway. The smaller ones are more fuel efficient ones. Those blades on, or the motors on the blades aren't very fuel efficient, but they're small enough where they, they, that they don't bend the blades too much. And make them go absolutely haywire like they are doing. Which is an easy fix. I just keep forgetting to put this on here. Every time I go back in, there we go. Set it as four. Easy fix. Done. 
Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and change these out. Something a little bit better than that. Cut that back to a single. Now I'm only gonna be using liquid fuel. That is not what I meant. That's right, I can't do that. So, there. I'm gonna set that right. That is not what I meant to do. Right there. I need an intake on it, otherwise it's not gonna work. This was a real pain in the butt to do. To accomplish this. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to move this. Because I want to use a little bit of bigger engines. Just so we can go at higher speeds. No, no. Probably not a good idea. Yeah, let's stick to slow. And there's it. Go ahead and pull that off. Get rid of these on this side. Let's put you there temporarily. Gone. And gone. Good enough. Alright. Now that should fly better than the other one. <coughs> so the blades go that way. Good to know. Come on, baby. Get you centered. We'll center you. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. Almost. Get you some more thrust. Almost centered. Okay. So I do need more thrust in that. Easy fix. Uh, retry minute 14. Let's do this. <laughs> It'd be nice to have some good music going in the background. It'd be really nice, actually. gonna do basically just pull these out so I can put a big engine without causing heat problems on anything and now that I'm putting a big engine I'm gonna go ahead and keep it forward that way the weight is roughly under the propellers so
right there, it should be fine. Let's pop you up. Go about mid. Let's check this one. I want to wait about. Need to go up a little bit. Besides that, you look about right. Okay. It's kind of like a raw, rough guesstimates what I'm doing. Oh, he appears. I prefer these engines over most because of the sheer power that they have at higher velocities. This was actually an engine ac access, so you can see the engine a little bit better. A little bit behind the hood, if you would. <laughs> okay. There, perfect. Okay, that should give me the power I'm looking for. And why I'm in here before I fuck this up. Excuse my language. It comes out once in a while. Okay, that should be enough power to do what we want to do. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. And I think now the blades should actually separate better with a lot less wobble. Um, there is one thing that I keep forgetting to do, to show y'all to do when y'all are working with this helicopter and adjusting it to your liking. That is if you have the game. <laughs> but I imagine if you're Googling this, or YouTubing it, you're probably looking for this in particular. Okay, so now pop. Let's go ahead and go back to the blades real quick. They're on their own little system, their own little guiding system. And um, when I went to pop it, I apparently broke the computer inside of it. So that's not a good start. But I seem to be somewhat airborne, so. We're going to attempt this anyway. Let's get the pilot to do his job and not listen at freaking all. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this stuff way down. <laughs> Activate these engines manually. Because apparently we have a little bit bigger of a malfunction than I thought we did. Okay. It's good. We are good. Now let's get some speed with these things. Now the only problem I'm probably going to see with this is that um, the nose is going to want to tilt up. Oh, nope. Cutting blades. Cutting blades. Oh, no. Oh. The scraping ass. And we are down. That is us. Hmm. So, what I'm thinking here... <sighs> too much speed too quickly, I think, um... I think we can redo that and actually get it right. Sometimes the computer does break. That's why I'm just ready. I know that sometimes the computer inside the blades are going to break. They're actually in the core of the thing, which is connected to the, all the ball bearings and the inner workings of this thing. Um, do, 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 do. Speaking of the computer, let me just figure out exactly where it's located. So there's the ball bearing. So basically it's an empty tube with um, the reaction wheels and then uh, the computers inside. It kind of just bounces around in there. That's what it does. Now, right now it's actually ripping apart. It 
should be falling apart completely in just one sec. The thing about these blades, though, if I didn't reiterate that enough already, because I will be, is that they do not, do not like to be stationary at fucking all for some reason. <laughs> I think maybe the physics are bouncing off of it, causing it to bounce around the tube, and the more the physics bounce, the more it becomes bouncy, and then starts going over haywire. I was going to adjust the engine first. All right, there we go. Matter of fact, I don't think the engines know the engines did, but we'll go ahead and throttle up to the lower 80%. And then tilt view. You do not want to move. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, let's lock you in real quick, actually. No, that's the blade, so let's not lock those. Let's go ahead and adjust control because I'm actually not controlling it from the front right now. There I am now. Okay, cut, cut, cut. Come on, baby. Do what I want. There you go. Now, the blades are kind of on their own little design on what they want to do. So you really got to work with them when you first take off, if you do crappy takeoffs like me. Otherwise, you'll have clipping, stuff like that, uh, of the ground. I mean, this isn't a really good example of how to fly this thing, because I normally do better. <laughs> it has its own little uh, flight control, basically, to get used to it. So what you do is you lock this first, that helps to get you stable. You put SAS on that. I'd recommend you keep that pretty pretty stable before you do that. Now, when you're in the air, I'm not doing this at 100% fuel because obviously I'll just take way off of in the air. And I've been trying to attempt not to kill my carpals because I'm running out of them. Um, but uh, You kind of want to just tilt it with not too much speed till, till the blade tilts itself up. Come on, blade. Come on. I know you want to. There you go. Now she's starting to tilt the other way. There. Now I can start picking up speed soon. And we're out of fuel. <laughs> yeah. It's not the best thing. I'm going to go ahead and do a full flight. Like an actual flight. That way you can get a gist of what it's like. <coughs> and actually see that this thing can fly. I mean... With the blade I made, you could make a smaller base, and this thing would fly very well with um, only needing a little bit of uh, throttle to actually take off. But um, for the sake of, like, um, what is it called? Um, so that's pretty much how the inner workings work. You, you, um, put a thingy down, what do you call that thing? A battery down, and then you pull, you put a, 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 a reaction wheel above, like on top of the small reaction wheel, and you separate them with the, um, the what you call it mode, the, uh, where you move stuff around like I did the engine, and then you put a battery in between those two, and it, and then you put a quick disconnector on the thing. One second. Actually, I can fly this thing because I'm sure it doesn't have much fuel. Oh, I forgot to. Yep. And now that the blades are tilted, let's 
got it. Yeah, so not very easy to fly, not stable, pretty crap. But you know, it's it's a work in progress for sure. I mean, you can actually switch the blades themselves, and uh, like, click. too late. You can actually adjust the uh, the pitch of them. So when you're coming down like this, you don't do what I just did. Pretty much. Okay, now let's rip this thing apart and teach you how to build it. Yeah, I know it's like, like not super amazing. Oh, holy crap, that was awesome. Abandon hope, all you went to hell. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, I feel pretty good about being able to actually build a helicopter. It took me a very long time. It's kind of shit with a heavy body, but I don't use heavy bodies normally. I prefer smaller bodies that you just seem to want to fly a lot better, have more control. Um, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and switch to. We, we're not going to do nothing like crazy because I don't feel like building nothing stupid amazing right now. But uh, we'll go, go pretty damn light actually. There you go. And then after this we're going to hit it with a fucking missile. Because why the hell not? It's me, Fun Hunter. We hit everything with missiles. Um, again, with the weight, keep it centered. Pretty simple. Push this forward about halfway. Pull it back in. Hide it inside of itself. Cool. And done. And then after that. We just need to put it like a tell something with rotation thingies on it. Uh, reaction blows, I mean. Yeah, I'm not very good with the names, obviously, as you can tell. Um, definitely could use some practice on catching up on the names of these things and memorizing them so I could say I'm in a pinch, but I'm probably not going to. Let's be honest with ourselves. Um. The reason reaction wells are so important is because of reaction wells. Just in case somebody's like, why are so many reaction wells? Because I don't want to die. Now that's offset a little bit. I gotta fix that in a minute. But let's get this thing inside of here first. And I'm actually gonna cut some of these reaction wells off of the bag. Make it a little bit easier for myself. And a bow. Okay, that's pretty well done. I mean, you could actually add engines to it. I'd recommend you do that if you want it to work properly. Um, for the sake of a video and it being a freaking video, I'm going to put these here. No one loves you, you stupid barrel. <laughs> the more weight you put on this thing, the, the harder it is to fly, though. I'm going to let you know that right now. And we need two more things. Well, four technically. And da 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 da. Uh, on and off for a year or two. I started on the computer. I uh, I enjoy I enjoy this game. Obviously, that's why I play it. Gives me something fun to do. I, mean, I got pretty good. Um, there's a few things that I needed a lot of help with, but uh, I think I've figured it out now. Um, I guess I'll show you the inner workings of this thing real quick so you can get an idea what the hell's going on in here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick because I'm about to fuck. Ah, I saved over the other helicopter. It's good. It's good. So you can get an idea of what the hell the insides look like here. So basically, I put uh, this on the very bottom on here. And then uh, that's your decoupler. And then on the decoupler, I uh, put all of this crap, which is reaction wheels. And then I put two of these little SAS thingies in there. Um, and then I st shoved them right in the middle of it. And then at the very end, I put a bigger reaction wheel. And then I separated them with the, what you call it, tool, the offset tool. And then between that, I, I set the whole offset tool to push all this crap to the top of the tube. Then I put this in the middle of them. So that way it's kind of like a something to hold it from just flying the fuck off. Um, but uh, it's about the gist of that. Yeah, I fucked that up. Okay. Let's go ahead and load. I'm doing a light body. I just did a... Um, just did a heavy body. And... Uh, they didn't fly very well. Not at all. Not even slightly. <laughs> Let's be honest with ourselves. That was crap. I'm able... I've been playing... Lately since November before... And like like missiles and stuff I was actually supposed to be doing missiles today and then I got sidetracked with the helicopter because I accidentally built it <coughs> I need um, to make more more stable planes in flight so I can carry more bombs the most I can carry is about 36 before the thing just goes all haywire and boom crashes and burns. I'll, I'll whip it out and show you. So let me get this thing back in the air. Okay, break the reaction wheel. Now, right now, or right, right now. Sometimes when you go to clip it to something else, like change the thingies, it doesn't want to switch back, so you have to switch it yourself. But when now that when you're here, you'll have control of the the, the little pod, you need control of the pod to really do anything you want to. So pod is what actually moves it around. But uh, you don't want too much thrust, otherwise you'll tilt it up like like I just did. Come on, baby. Come on. Don't fight me. Don't fight that. What, um, what, um, um, reading what you're saying here, what, what in particular are you very good at building and could teach me? I mean, I'm, I'm always down to learn something. You're talking my language right now. I'm trying to flip this thing, it's not working very well. Yeah, I'm not very... Obviously, I'm not very good at building. I mean, look, this is my helicopter. It's crap. I'm actually about to lose thrust in a minute, so what I'm going to do is switch back to the blades, which is not what I'm going to do. Great! Okay. I need to learn how to, to change between the, uh, the the two controls easier, the blades and the, the actual cockpit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Slowly, slowly. I'm actually trying to land this thing. It's not going very well. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm about to start from scratch. You are more than welcome to uh, give me some pointers as I build. Okay, let's cut the engine. 
is not cutting great. Okay, love when that happens. We're going to put ourselves in the death spiral for a minute because I'm about to lose the blades. Oh, nope. Just finally cut out. That's great. <laughs> Good. I love falling. I wish I could tilt the blades right now. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah shit temps horrible temps are going horrible <laughs> okay <coughs> okay so supersonic I would like the supersonic one Docking workaround. What do you mean in your docking workaround? Elaborate a little bit. I can show you what it looks like when it's actually flying, like the inner workings of it and how it moves, because it does. It, there's, it bounces around too much. It, it tends to like to move, and I'm not sure. I tried I tried putting these metal things on the outside these I beams because they help um, with the whole let's see so this is it right here it tends to actually bounce around as you can see let's give it some throttle ah, come on baby Stop moving. Why are you doing this? Uh, lock camera. Free. Chase. Lock. Should have already locked it. So I am in flight right now. 100%. I mean, it tends to bounce around, but I don't know how I can make that any better. I mean, the problem is that it actually... That's what I tried to do in the first place, was do the RCS... Hold on, hold on. Relaunch. I'm not going to activate the thrust. I'm going to have to. Okay. I'm going to have to. I tried doing it without the uh, the, the liquid, liquid fuel thrusters, but I wasn't 100% sure how to do that. Let's go ahead and... The, the only problem is that I keep having is when I go to go build the thing and I'm using the reaction wheels because that's what everybody does, um, it doesn't give me enough like, uh, whoops. Ah, come on, baby, spin before you freak out on me. Spin. You know you want to. And complete engine failure, of course. Why, why, okay, I, I miss, I do not what FTW means. That is to create your prop motor separate from your, um, and attach it by a similar slide. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I I don't know. This is a very felt after hundreds of attempts and coming to find out that 
the reaction wheels don't give me the power. They just, they weigh too much. And playing on the PS4, they don't spin quick enough. I mean, I didn't have a problem on the computer, but when you come to this, they don't want you to spin stuff very quickly. I don't know why, but uh, it doesn't turn here as fast. Um, here, I'll go to open, load the most basic one that I built that actually works. Yes, you can. And do I use it? No. I mean, it's, I set it at this angle because I heard this was a pretty good angle. Um, it gets me in the air. Sort of. But, uh, no, no, yeah, I do, I do have it locked. Okay, I have that one locked and the rest not, apparently. Okay, okay, is this, is this the same thing as trim lock, is it, if I deactivate all this? So I will do it. They deactivate the floors. Okay, they should all be, Jesus Christ. Okay, they should all be deactivated. No, Jesus. Okay, so which one deactivated? This one, deactivate. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's not a thing on the PS4. No, that's why building this was hard enough. There's nobody else that I've seen on the PS4 that actually could built a helicopter that was functional. correct as far as I'm aware how would you go about trim locking I mean oh don't tell me that I tried so damn hard <laughs> Okay, well, you actually might be right there. That's fine with me. I figured it was a failed attempt from the beginning. did build one cool thing, I mean, that was half decent during this video that was supposed to be a rocket video, <laughs> I mean, kind of got sidetracked into a helicopter thing. Did I save it in this profile? I don't actually know if I did. Those are all stocks. Great. So, no. Tell the hell is Z-Maps? What the hell is that? No, they still have... They haven't updated this game in a long time either, too. They're actually planning on adding a lot of interesting stuff to it. Um, that... The...
What do you mean? Happy? I have engines on my prop. Uh, uh, on the propellers themselves? They they have engines. That's why it's able to fly. And no, it's not too heavy. I just had to extend the blades out. I'm telling you, man. This shit was fucking damn near impossible. But I made this motherfucker fly. <laughs> it, it was hell on earth at that. But, um... If you look... Well, no, of course I know that. I've seen it done without it multiple times. I'm just to to make it to make it be able to work. I, I was I had to put these. How many is it? Like three engines, four engines on the um the wings. That's why it likes to spaz out now. But before it didn't spaz out with the engines. Or like off of it, it was fine. They they would sit, they wouldn't bounce around and do nothing crazy and do the cracking, nothing like that. But now, you know, I have to have these. Even, even if I didn't watch here, let me, for example, let's go to. I, I wanted to show you this like 12 times now. I keep screwing it up. Switching between the, the vessels is actually difficult. It's not just a button click. I wish it was that easier. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to cut the throttle off. Activate all stages. If you. Okay. So. I'm going to kick you in the face. Thank you. Oh no. Don't you crack it on me. Don't you crack it on me. No. Okay. 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 Come on. Gentle. Gentle. Don't you crack it on me. Don't you do it. No. Why? Okay. After I changed the design of this thing, it just... It don't, don't, it don't laugh at me. I tried stupid cracking. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm just going to use the Mark 1 engine. That was my first design of it. I don't, don't know why I do that in the damn first place. Because it doesn't do the flippity flappity crazy crap that the other one does. So this is the Mark 1. This is the actual first engine that I ever got to work um, on here. I know, it looks crazy. Don't make fun of it. The engine assembly? Like, I think I know what you mean. I did push this a little bit low on this right here. Maybe if I fix that, it won't crack it on me. Okay. There's actually two blades in here. They're hidden in each other. All right. So right here. To right there. Give it, give it a tiny gap. Might be the problem. So bounce. There. Okay, slight gap might help instead of it being pushed on on itself. I did that because I think I made the engine, the inside of the engine, too far down, and it wasn't pushing up against this thing, or too far up. One of the two. I don't know. Now this thing works half decently until I change the engines out on it. shouldn't be okay let's drag you down just a little bit so I can see what's going on okay no they're they're definitely not touching and I really doubt this reaction will yeah this reaction wheel is right below this, because this is the bottom of it right here, of the battery. And it's right below it. Oh! Oh yeah, okay, okay. 
that's what I said. I really fucked that one up trying to make it better. And like, I was like, okay, side project. Let's make this engine flyable. You know, well, more so flyable. And it went to just fucking, it went to hell very quickly. Like, hell in a handbasket very, very quickly. Now this, this thing is half decent. I mean, you can definitely give me pointers on this thing, like where I could go to making this engine better from here. I forgot to put the. Uh, I gotta extend out the blades. I put them in to, as a pre save for just. I don't know why, but they're supposed to be extended, otherwise, I won't get the proper amount of lift for this. Uh, this one has got quite a bit more lift than the other one it's just I was trying to make it more I don't know how do you say disconnect there how do I how can I disconnect right here or should I have not have switched yeah I should have not have switched I'm going to redo that because I actually wanted to see this thing take off but I switched vessels in which I don't know why I did that because there's only one computer on it and then it screwed up the the thingy. Actually, you know what it is? I know what it is. Okay. Let's get this thing going first. Then we're going to disconnect those at the same time. So. Okay. That went horribly too. The engines are creating the major majority of the lift here. The props itself are spinning too slow to even lift that small body. Yeah, I know the engines are doing the lift. That's why I tilted them like that. It was more for an, uh, of an appearance thing than anything. As you can tell because, yeah, the engines are doing all the work. I mean, I could put them sideways and show you what that does. The reason it made me tilt them up like that um, was because, like I said, this game does not like to do RPMs. I don't know why. Not not on the PS4 version. I went back and did this on my computer, and I'm like, oh, okay, this was, like, so much easier on the computer. Oh, the hell. <laughs> Okay. Okay, symmetrical mode. Nope. Don't be pointing down, that would be bad. Okay, that's it right there. And actually, I'm going to extend these out. Um, possibly, if I remember how to do that for a minute, like half asleep. If you were to angle those engines, be with the ground much faster. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now to show you. Um, but I was going to do something and damn near forgot what it was. Oh. Nope. That's the wrong one. Keep it a little extension, bring it up. That will give it a lot more lift. See, I don't have the stretch problem on here at all. You're going to see. Mm -hmm. So we're going to full throttle this thing and I'll show you what it does. Pop. Full throttle. So at full speed.
Yeah, so that that's that's full speed right there. It was stretchy, not very fast, very slow. Oh wait, hold on, that's not full throttle. That's full throttle. Yeah, I'm not very sure to how to achieve higher RPMs though, because I can just keep loading it with weight and then it makes it really unstable. Because this game does not, not the PS4 version, does not like to give you high RPMs in pretty much any form or facet that you try to go get it. I think I know what you mean. I mean, I know what you mean. We, we, uh... Yeah, I know. And they've been waiting on a freaking update, or they've been working on an update. They actually switched companies, um, from, who the hell were they using? Someone help me out here. Squad's been working with them for, like, ever now. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, so under the body. That basically, so the base of the thing is gonna be down here. I think I could pull that off. Start with putting landing gear. Curd here. Question mark? I'm, I'm not. And then. Oh, okay, I get you. So basically, test it that way. Let me um, rotate the blades real quick, so they actually do something. Yeah, right there should be plenty. I'm going to rotate the engines, put them flat, big bag of fun, there we go. And that's about level. It actually should be about perfect yet, but it's a little bit up, that's fine. It's actually a lot harder than it seems like, apparently. Okay, so if I test it this way, I should know if this engine is stable. I'm liking it. I'm not touching, I haven't touched anything at all. That's pretty damn stable, stable right there. There's a little bit of bouncing in the tube. Is there a way to get around the bouncing in the tube? Like, if I put it closer to it, or... I mean, that's not horrible. I have it more set to power than I do have speed right now. If I tilt it back more, it'd be more for speed. I like to set my propellers angled to, to power so it can lift more. Yeah, it is, it is definitely flyable. So what do I do? Do, do? do am I supposed to build the body upside down, like underneath it, or was that...
No, I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was an unstable thing. But what do you mean the red belly? Okay, hold on. Okay, slow down. I mean, you're not confusing me, but you are a little bit. I have a few questions. First question is, what do you mean uh, that the the mechanic wants to drop below the body weight? Oh, like uh, the thing wants to flip upside down, but it's not. Like flip back around. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Sinking freaking carries so much goddamn weight. I think that's one of my problems is I'm, is I'm going for sheer damn weight with the blades. Okay, good, good, okay. And the simple fact that it's not flipping upside down is a. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. It's downside the helicopters. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, no. And it's gone. <laughs> So should I build the helicopter on like does it matter if I flip it back around or is there a specific way that I should be building this like the body of it is that my problem You know what I just had a brainstorm possibly I want this thing to go in a forward direction. And if I put the... Well, you've seen what happens if I put the body on one side. The body wants to go up. And, which makes the blades want to tilt back. And I don't really have control over the blades. It doesn't matter how you build it. To... Uh, only that you... Please... Balance the weight of the torque and the lift. Okay, um... Okay, well tell me what the hell to do next to actually get this thing to fly forward because you've seen my failed attempts at this. Like, what, uh, what part do you want me to go look up and put on this mother freaker? I mean, give me a category. Fuel tank, like engines, what's up? I just want to get to fly forward and not, not fly all crazy. I've already put like 25 hours into this thing and still haven't been able to get it to fly right. Okay, so you said it doesn't matter, so we can put the blade like that. You know what? I can't copy that? Damn it. Okay, hold on. Let's copy this. Flip this up right. I think I'm gonna go with the Chinook design. Cause not only will it be able to carry more weight, but I honestly think that it'd be a safer bet. So, let's go to, but I was already in where I need to be. Here. Put one of these things here. Let's connect you to the bottom. Clipping the engine in. Okay, now that I have another engine, let's go ahead and build a body. We just need something with a basic length. It doesn't. Okay. So, honestly, man, I don't know if you can get it to fly right. The council, your body of the after will create lots of friction inside your prop mechanic. That is not the attitude I was looking for. Anything's possible when you put your mind to it or some crap. That's more or less what I was looking for. So it's a length of three and a half. So let's go ahead and copy that. I know you can help me make this.
okay. So Okay, so that'd be my first thing I need to do. Um, shouldn't be that hard. So that's too big of a gap right here, basically, is what you're telling me. So I need to put it all the way to the top of that. See, that might be my damn problem. Ah, you know I clicked on you. Stop it. Ah, that's right. I turn this off. One second. I need to be able to see the bottom of this soon. as close as possible I don't know if it's actually in the dip of the this battery that this counts as or it's right at the bottom lip of this but I'm gonna assume it's there okay now that I did that I need to go up and fix this problem okay so there is no gap okay there Okay, cool, cool. I'm pretty sure that's pretty damn close. I gotta re redo that engine. See, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Um, didn't realize that that little gap was gonna cause a problem. Okay. I'm gonna put this over here temporarily. Um. Again, not a scientist, but I'm pretty damn sure that's way too fucking long. <laughs> okay, so. I need to copy the internals of this engine. Oh, okay. One sec. Rewind. Yep. Copy the internals. Connect it. Okay. Actually, connecting this engine to this might be a little bit difficult. Oh, okay, maybe not. Okay, there we go. You think I could take one of these out? One of these metal bars? Or should I keep it about as... Oh, um, what you call it is I can, like, symmetrical, I guess you'd call it. Must be... This craft won't fly? Are you trying to tell me this craft won't fly? Oh, oh, okay. Counter rotate. Okay, that's, that's simple, counter rotation. So what, just like flip the damn blades the opposite way? See, see, that's why we have a really smart guy in the chat. It only took me two years to find one. <laughs> okay, so what you're telling me is that I need to actually flip, flip the blades around. It spins clockwise. Okay, yeah. So I can leave it like this. I just need to flip it around, and this has got to be flat. So this should fly then, right? I hope, 
but we're just gonna test this thing out. Yeah. Actually, before I test this out, I need to lower this. It's way too high. Whoops. Okay, right here. Let's not just raise this thing. Okay, yeah, balance it up and it'll f try to fly stable. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see if this works. I'm actually going to change the name of this so it doesn't try to copy over nothing crazy. I'm going to change this to the Mark II. The Mark II engine, oh my god, I would be happy if the Mark II engine works. <laughs> I've been messing with this engine for like two weeks now, man. On and off, I'm like, ugh. I went a bit down, stripped it completely, put it back together. Still doesn't want to work. Okay. Okay, let's try this. It looks like it's not trying to be as wobbly. Right now, it's not trying to do the cracking thing. Okay. Pop them both. I don't know if popping one in in not, not in unison with the other one's gonna cause it. Yes, it did cause a problem. Okay, so good thing to know is that you want them to the thumb to start rotating properly at the same time and disconnect properly at the same time. Would be a very important thing, is what it looked like to me. Not actually sure, we're gonna find out. Okay, so we set these to pop at the same time, start at the same time. Instead of simultaneously fucking up on me. <laughs> or not quite the opposite. Before engine starts. So everything was right, they just did that one thing I needed to switch, correct? And pop. Okay, there they popped at the same time. One's starting to rotate a little bit funny. Oh, it's because the entire thing's flipping. No, no, come back. See you. No. Yes. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why? I don't. I don't. Dark Lion, you have an explanation for that. No, no, don't let me forget it. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put the battery on it. <laughs> Where did it even go? Oh, yeah, I forgot to put the battery on that engine to keep that one from flying off. Whoops, okay. So, <laughs> let me, me, uh, me, uh, put the battery on that, and it should actually work now. Oh, wait, this will give me a chance to see the, the um, the distance and the gap more clearly. Than going inside of the engine itself. Okay. Yeah, I think the distance is perfect. It looks really good. Yeah, that dude, dude that looks spot on. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, let's try this again. Um, I'm taking it that's a small engine one. Let's try that. I think that's way too big. Yep. So it is this one. Okay. Just get in there. Fit in the hole. There. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Okay. Okay. There. Okay. In theory, this should work. Actually, you know what? Let me just put two supports to just make sure that it doesn't... Try to go all bouncy or crazy on me. About mid somewhere. Give or take. I'm just guesstimating. I pretty much guesstimate everything. It seems to work half decent there. Um, and matter of fact, so it doesn't do the whole bouncy thing because that was retarded. It didn't make me look very smart when it did that. We're just gonna really come up. There. 
We're going to put a little bit of these on there so that it doesn't want to wobble near as much when it takes off. I don't know if that's going to cause a weight problem because the blades are still not long enough. As you notice, I had to do three blades to really get it to do what I wanted. Why are these blades off put like that? So, side long beams on them first and then tested you. Oh, you read my mind. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. There's also another problem with why this thing was having a balancing problem that I noticed. You see how these are damn straight on? Look at these. I don't know why they're like that. So that's an easy fix. Dead center. Lift it up a touch. Perfect. Okay. There. So I think that's why the back engine was flopping around so much besides it didn't have a battery. So now this should work properly. I'm going to make a Chinook, damn it. <laughs> it's going to work. Thank you for the whole counter counterclockwise clockwise thing. Oh my god, look at that. Okay. Before I pop those. Okay. Okay. I don't. One engine works properly and the other doesn't. I was so confused. Why? Anybody? Explain uh, of whatever the word. I'm happy to help. No, seriously. What, the, what did I mess up here? Why is this engine? Wait, what? Am I supposed to be using the RCS jets instead? Oh, well, if I do that, was it, wouldn't it? All right, let's stabilize you a little bit better. It still doesn't want to take off off the ground. I don't understand that. Okay. Um, still very confused. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna do that. <clears throat> oh. Look, the blades are tilting down. Yeah. Now the hard part here is gonna be able to do... I've gotta get these blades roughly about the same. Otherwise, one's going to lift harder than the other. I think that's about it right there. Okay. Click off. Oh, no. Yeah, definitely generating more lift. Figured that out. Oh, summed it up. There we go. Okay. Now it should properly work. I had blades completely reverse there. But I don't I don't think it's generating more more lift. I well yeah, no, definitely more lift because in, it was in the opposite direction, but we we're, we're gonna see what happens here. This should work. Hope. Pop. Maybe. 
Oh. Oh. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's still kind of... Oh, shit. It, it flies. It flies. It flies horribly. Now the fun part of actually building a body on this thing. But now that I have that... <laughs> oh my god. But now that I have that, it should work properly. I think I think I actually have a design that should work. Okay, let's put a... Let's put an extension on the blades because I want more extension. That way I can carry more weight. Actually, let's do low weight this time. Just so we can get an idea of what we're getting at. Oh, that works so much better. So much better. Okay. So. Let's do. Okay. Let's do one right up off the front. That's going to be where I'm going to put the cockpit. Um. Low weight, low weight. It's about as low weight as it gets. Next. Okay, actually, I can't use that. Not at the beginning. Not for what I'm trying to do. Um. Too, no, too small. I need reaction wheels on this thing. Alright, that should be perfect. Okay, now that I got that. Um, grab that. Drop that down. Just put you right below. Yep, perfect. Just push you back a little bit, actually. Yep. Right about there. Okay. Next, put this on here, there, that'll help with balancing, I'm not done, that's not, that's not all I'm doing, <laughs> it gets better, um, there we go, help to balance it so it doesn't shake around, okay, now the fun part. Don't ask me why I'm building it this way, because I really don't know. I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun, I guess. That looks about as centered as it's going to get. Um, next thing's next. I guess I'll do something hollow and small so I don't overdo the weight. So what I'm going to do down here is going to be a little bit crazy. That is not what I meant. I did, you know I didn't mean to drop it down. Come on, game. But getting to watch the build? Ah. So fickle. Why is it doing this? There we go. There we go. The only problem I don't like with this, the console version, is that that right there, the bouncing around bullcrap is not cool. This game knows it. It, it purposely knows it. Pisses me off and does it. Fire process. Okay, screw it. I'm just going to leave gap there so I can speed this up. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
I was actually putting... You know what? It's great. I'd really rather have freaking... This is a dumb idea, but I'm going to do it. And put reaction wells down here instead. Yeah, I mean, you're supposed to put reaction wells just so it doesn't bounce around. But reaction wells, a whole bunch of them become more unbalanced, but that's why I've got the metal poles at the top there. It's going to kind of use them together so that they don't bend as much. Jesus Christ. There. There we go. What is that like four? Five ish? Yep. Right. You think that um that's a little bit of overkill? <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Why, uh, why not a jet? What in particular does the jet have that you don't want reaction wheels on it? Oh, okay. Another really cool thing that this game doesn't have is uh, the weld. Oh, so I can't just weld all this crap together. Makes my life a lot easier, you know? But no. This game's like, no, you don't need it, bro. It's okay, you can put freaking struts everywhere. So we know you prefer to do that. I don't actually prefer to do that. This game just fucking hates everybody. <laughs> Nope. No, I wish. Like I said, they're they're teaming up with somebody else, some other company that can actually do um, console games, and are going to be putting one of these or an update for this game out, hopefully within the next year. Okay, let's try that. <laughs> oh god. Okay, hold on. I got an idea. <laughs> Just for the hell of it. I don't actually, I think this is going to cause a balancing problem now that I think about it. But it's almost half worth it. Yeah, this is definitely 100% going to call it, cause a balancing issue. Again, worth it as hell. Completely worth it. Okay. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I really hope this works. I really do. Okay, I probably should have put some take off before it falls. Ah, did I forget to full throttle all the engines? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, easy fix. Don't fall over. Don't you fall over, ba Oh wait, it really can't all the way. Yes, it can. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I forgot to put the landing gear on because I'm dumb. Dumb as hell. More anxious than anything to see that the engine's actually working to its full potential now. I'm kind of almost, if you'd say, ecstatic. So I really expected it to fail like 12,000 times by now, but it's actually moving along as far as uh, the research project of engines is going. Very well, and if I was a scientist, I would feel pretty good. 
I mean, not amazing because I'm sitting here learning how to make it from probably like Germany or something. Another country, but you know what? I'm still making an engine. <laughs> not to say that you're from some like Germany or something. I meant like as to outsource how to make stuff open. Another thing I don't like is the camera speed. It's so slow. There is no way to speed it up. It's kind of ridiculous. Right? This is, if this can work properly, I wish I could make it more fuel efficient, and I bet you I can with enough poking and prodding, but as far as systems going right now, jet engines are fuel, like, inefficient as freak. I mean, not near as bad as rockets, but still, I, I wish there was a way that I could use, like, even ion engines, but those wouldn't give me the potential energy that I'd need to produce Oh, look at that. Look at the thing bounce around. Full throttle engines. Pop them. And you know what I did forget? I forgot to put a pilot in this thing. It is way too much power on the ass end of this thing. Okay, I need to go put a pilot in this thing. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to control it. <laughs> I think I'm going to let it take off before I try to full throttle it forward. Not full throttle, but... Yeah. Okay. So, pilot. Excuse you. Okay. How do you make a um how do you make um a hinge like I've seen hinges but I don't know how to make them I clipped one of the blades, but I think it's still going to fly pretty good. As soon as all this decides to want to level out a little bit. As soon as it pops up off the ground, it would be a huge advantage to me. I don't, I think it's going to be a little heavy though. Yeah, I would have picked the front up already. This thing is technically hovering. Tilting the ass up. Holy crap, it might work. To give it more speed. No, because if it was going to pick up, it would have probably already done it by now. No, it's just not enough speed to it. Let me check the engines and make sure. Yeah, they're at full throttle. Huh. It's weird. Yeah. 
Hmm. I think I'm going to rip the body apart a little bit rather than having to change it. You know what? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I think it'd be a lot easier. How am I going to appropriately take off a balanced amount of weight? I guess I should put up, put up my weight scale that way I can see where center of mass is. Let's see what I need to do to properly get this thing weighed. My center of mass is back anyway. <coughs> is back anyway so what I can do is rip it off about let's see here get rid of this duplicate oh, hold on if I go off and duplicate that it reproduces Not really. I mean, they almost look dead even. Yeah. No, no, I, I know that. I don't know how to fix that, though. Maybe... I don't, I mean, if you have any ideas, I'm more than willing to listen, but uh, I, I know that my design is screwing them all up somehow, but I'm not sure like what in particular I can do any better. Oh, besides the battery? Yeah, I can do that. What are you thinking? Something like this? I think that's overkill. I know there's a part in mind that you're thinking about. Should even a uh, computer would be better than fucking <laughs> nothing. Let's see if that works. No, because that wouldn't that wouldn't work right. It'd fuck up the uh, what you call it. No, 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 it wouldn't. It's, Bases. Yeah, actually, that might be a good idea. Let's let's try this. Oh, on the bottom. Well, I could attempt to do. Just rip the insides out of it. <laughs> ah, possibly. I don't catch that little ball. Yes, serious. Right there, or somewhere. Possibly. At the bottom, I'm not actually sure. Yeah, I'm just moving. I'm going to basically redo this bottom part. See if you're more happy with, like... Come on, baby. Don't fight me. Just accept it. Go into your little slot. There you go. Alright. Nope. Down a little bit more. Make you go up a little bit more. You know I didn't click on you. Come on.
I'm not actually sure where it's at. I know it's probably closer to the bottom. But where exactly, I'm not 100% not sure. <laughs> I was going to try to connect that there, but that's not going to work. I need to lift this entire thing up. <sighs> okay. Uh, the pro cores, the round things, there's two of them. There's one towards the top and one towards the bottom. There's one right here. And then there's one up here. You think I should probably... Try some Jesus. Oh yeah, I about screwed this engine completely. This back one kind of ripped it apart. Hey, watch mate. Oh, what's up, dude? I got. Cool. I'm gonna talk to you in just one minute. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, um, what am? So it'll basically make them go as fast as I possibly can, is that what you're telling me? See what their full potential is? Because if you want to see their full potential, then it is not going to be with this engine. It's going to have to be the even even more lightweight engine. <laughs> okay, so the full potentials of these things. The absolute tops of the tops. So I'm going to put these two sideways, completely, set these to four. Okay, okay, easy enough. Drop this down. Two. There. We'll go ahead and clip the back off of this thing. Just for right now. Actually, you know what? I'll put the same engine on the back. It'll make it easier. Um, <coughs> after that, I just need to... Lots of these. So you want me to do it take it about half fast enough to pull the pull the blades actually apart, right? Is that what you're asking me? I need to clip these again. Uh, I said you pretty much want to make 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 these go as fast as I can, like basically rip the blades off of them. Is that the gist of what I'm supposed to be doing? And one last one. Did you hear me that time? About ripping blades off? Is that the gist of what I'm getting at? <sighs> OK. 
Okay, give me one sec. I can do that. There should be more than enough to do that. That ought to be enough fuel. Just to take you to what you're asking me to. It's like, you know, okay. I'm uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh this is about what you're asking me. Oh, okay. So that's my first attempt at t ever attempting what I just did. I don't know what the fuck happened there. So I'm gonna restart it, try a little bit slower and speed it up as I go. Maybe stabilization issue, it's Abundant speed out of nowhere and screwed it up. We'll find out. It's like the, just the front side of the helicopter now. Okay. Oh, I think it's. Uh, I think it's too top heavy you now, is what it is. Yeah, it's gotta be way too top heavy which is crazy because I made the same design and it wasn't near that top heavy <sighs> I'm just gonna have to take the uh, engine uh, the liquid fill I have on there and change it out Okay, um, I, I think the reason that they're glitching out is because of the weight issue. It's, uh, it's a lot of weight on tiny wheels. So we'll just jump the wheel size up just dramatically for just no reason besides to fix it. Ah. And there we go. Perfect. There, that should fix the weight issue with the bouncing of the wheels and the craziness. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this engine while I'm sort of down here. You know I didn't click on you, come on. There, engine copied. It's so easy to copy the engine. It, it's just like the internals and then a shell. So easy. Wow. Well, again, console version sucks. <laughs> right, let me rip the internals out of this one. There, okay. Problem solved. They really need to do an update on this. Okay, so now they both had the exact same engine, the Mark II. Um, yeah, no kidding. I agree fully on that. Don't forget your counter rotation. Oh, yep. Good point. Thank you. Oh, I totally would have forgot about that. Cause if you don't counter rotate, what um what exactly happens? Should should we find out? Because I kinda wanna know now. I'm quite curious. I mean I know it's not good. Ah, 
Ah. Ah. Okay. I really want to know, but I'm going to counter rotate anyway. As it is right now, they're both exactly at the same um, angle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Long story short, boom. <laughs> I love that. Oh, that's funny. Okay, yep. Good point, good point. Okay, so just rotate it and get it over with. Got it. I'm pretty damn sure that's not even close. The only thing bad about that is, uh, what the hell? There it goes again. Why does it do that when I change the bio? Oh, that's right, because I had it changed in the first place. Uh, there. <coughs> Fine, screw it. I'll use this one. Or will I? Thank you. Very glitchy. Um, definitely could use a lot of work on this game. The only reason I ended up getting it for console was because uh, I didn't have a computer that could handle the crap that I was trying to do. Okay, okay, cool. So do I want the pitch on the back to be a little bit higher so that the ass picks up higher than the other one? Or do I just want them to both pick up at the same, what you call it, majigger, and then use like a back engine? And you know what I just realized? This thing's going to be very front heavy. I forgot to put the, what you call it, on the back of it. It should be able to take off now, now though. Okay. Holy crap, it's got great fucking lift. Um. Any questions on the twistiness that just happened? Sides over torque, like... <coughs> Does that mean too many torque wheels is over torque? Like, take some of the torque wheels off of it? <laughs> Or is, I think it's because I didn't have any torque wheels on the back side, right? Like, it tried to torque on the front side, but couldn't, so... Or it did, and the back didn't torque at all, and that's why it flipped out of control. Oh, okay, okay. I can do that. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna do the power not near as much, or... Should the SA is on? Engage too. Okay, yep, got it. Yeah, I never, never turn that on very often. Normally, the stuff I build, you can fly without SAS at all, which I heard is a really good thing, so I just got used to not using it. Okay. So, SAS. Dude, it's so stable right now. It looks so beautiful. It's not bouncing around. It's not cracking, or cracking in, in whatever the word is in plurals. Or whatever. That. That. I didn't touch. I didn't touch nothing. All I did was activate the engines appropriately. Oh. Uh, hold on. One major problem that I already see. 
is that the two engines disconnected not not simultaneously I don't know I don't know I was hoping that you knew I didn't touch anything I just did that by it's a lonesome okay so I think this together whatever this four is there okay so maybe that might have a little bit been the problem doubt it <laughs> not from that I, I have no clue what happened there even slightly rocket science it's easy kids <laughs> oh my god right okay <laughs> Okay. God, this thing is just, it's so... Wait, popping the engines. Pop. Okay, I am 100% the hell on Earth. What? The back one is just flying so welcome. Hey, look at that! So damn well compared to the, the front one. No, go, don't go, no, don't let go, baby. You're doing it, you're doing it. Oh, yes, yes. Avery <laughs> broke it. So <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yeah, look at that, baby. Oh, 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 a sad face. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. Letting, why, why is it the, the back engine is so much better than the front one? <laughs> oh, yep. Oh my god. I don't. I don't. Prob why? I don't. <sighs> it takes a special kind of fucking stuff up to do what I've done apparently I don't know how to fix it at all even slightly so I'm not I really honestly think it's these reaction wheels so what we're gonna do is just rip them all off give them one more test flight um, even you know what before we give it one more test flight <laughs> you go and it's still <laughs> Oh, oh god. I know it. I, I can know it. Oh my god. I love yeah, I love how you could copy something and it come out eighty different ways. In Kerbal, of course. Oh you know what it is? Dude look. I put one of these things in the middle. So you you were right. Changing the little middle thingy actually had a huge impact. Okay, now it's appropriately copied. Okay, so wait, this actually might be a better engine. I'm excited. I actually am very excited. Um, let me put a little bit of counterweight on the ass just because I have the nose of that thing up there, just a touch. Because now I'm not gonna be flying with the what you call it. It doesn't really matter, so don't bust my balls about this, people. I know. I'm going to get like 40 comments by the morning time. The hell did you just put that half acidly on there? Because I did. Because I did. <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. You know, in theory, this should actually work. Pop. Pop. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Why am I still on the blade of this thing? Really? 
Mayday, mayday, Houston, we are going down. We are going down. Of course. Of oh, fucking course. Are you serious? Is that why those ball bearing looking probe cores are so amazing? Because I see everybody use them in all their videos. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, again, because of the SAS, and I don't think it does a whole lot. Okay. Let's do this again. Wouldn't the SAS keep it to come flying basically straight up? It's, or here, let me, let me just attempt what I'm saying. So SAS. S, S, okay, it was loading in still. There you go. Okay, don't need full throttle, obviously. Convert. What? Okay. Did it again. Go, oh, baby, go. Oh, we're gonna get in outer space with this thing. <laughs> we're not actually, obviously. I don't know what that is. It's a damn good question. I don't, I'm not doing nothing, so I don't know what it's doing. I don't, I just kind of let it take off on its own, and then I assume control. Not whatever the hell that's happening. It's flying. That's better than any of my other ones have done. I mean, very half-assedly, but it is flying. <laughs> it actually is flying. Not bad, really. Let's see if I can get it to do anything. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can stop now. That's cool. Wait, I still control the engines through the... The what you call it of this thing? How is that possible? How are how am I so? The most important thing here is that it. It sort of kind of flies a little bit. Huh. Here, I got another idea to keep it from doing that crazy stuff. I think if I connect again more of these because the PS version PS4 version you got to have these I don't know why in mass mounts I'm gonna connect these straight to the dang wheels how far will it reach right there to right there and then from there what I'll do is, I'll do this, should give me about an equal balance off of both sides, yep, and then I'll do a center pivot point basically is what I'm doing, to there, and then cross it back on the back side. Go about here. <sighs> of course. And there. And then finish it off with right about there. And then last but not least, this to here. 
Okay. Now with uh, with all that cross beaming, this should work. Any questions, comments, or concerns before this flies? I need to make that pivot point farther back. <clears throat> you still there, Dark Lion? That went horribly. Oh, dude. Just absolute freaking failure. Okay, so I, the engines that I made aren't complete fucking shit. Good, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> so... I can, I can fix the body torque very easily with these things that I've been making all I have to do is make basically a structure from the inside all the way down um shouldn't be that damn hard and actually if I just do this right here this would connect a little bit more of it automatically and then if I grab this connect this down here should connect automatically it would connect. Connect. <sighs> anyway. So forth and so on. Let's do another one of these. There. And the last but not least. Um, one thing I am seeing is that I need to tilt the blades just to touch. Okay. Well, that should help with the lift off the front. Um, then what I can try is... you to come back outside. Possibly it is. There is somewhat of a gap there, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um see if this improves this engine at all. I don't know, honestly. I was gonna say I doubt it, but I honestly have no damn idea. But that should help with this base inside. All we have to do is extend it out so it's not actually touching anything, or just barely touching. Right there should be about it. Okay. That might be a little far in, I'm not actually sure. Let's see, where's the inside? So I'm inside, right? 
Oh, there should do it. Alright, let's try that. It'll give it a little bit more friction, though, so I don't know. I, I don't know if this will cause any problems or not. Okay. Let's let it drop down. Let she drop down. That freaking back is still just lifting off so much quicker than the front. I'm gonna have to angle the blades even more than I thought. It's because the front side's more heavy, is what it is. <coughs> if I give it, um, the more you pitch it, the more, like right now, it's set to, to speed. The more you hit it, the more you turn it, the more it hits air, the more it can lift. It's not more speed. So what I'm gonna do is try lowering them. Like lowering on them or tilting them? Lowering the blades? On the back. Are you talking about the pitch of them or are you talking about the actually like physically lowering them? Angle of attack, yep. Okay, that's what I thought you were talking about. That's damn near straight, that's a tad higher. It should uh should work. Just guesstimating of course. <laughs> so is that like Ninety ninety degrees is straight flat, so what is that like eighty degrees ish? No, that's six seventy. Pop yes. There we go. Now we can just switch to the cockpit even though I don't have a damn pilot. Let's decrease the back engines a little bit. Oh, I'm actually flying it with the blade right now. It was too much. So right in there should be enough. Oh my god, this thing actually so went from flies compared to the other one. Yes, I know, I'm getting so damn close. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, thank you so much, dude. If you would have came in and helped me, I would have been still pussyfooting with this thing. Yeah, it's really stable, actually. Without SAS on or anything. No, with SAS, I bet you this thing would be, like, stupid stable. Let's try to cut it. Nope, cut it the other way. Cut it the other way. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go to the actual cockpit of this thing. Leave, which is this. I'm trying to cut it. That's not good. That's never a good sign. This thing works really well. Like, I mean, it's feel uh, inefficient as fuck, but um, it should be like fuel efficiency is not what I'm worried about. If I can get this thing into a good stable flight, like we just did, but maybe tad better, I can figure out and devise a fuel system and all of that later. 
and probably hook it to a moving system of some type. I'm not actually sure. Right now, getting it airborne is about more important. Okay, so the problem that we're having is too much thrust off the back. Now, I'm just going to take a wild guess and rip two of these off. I don't know if that's an actual good idea. You know what, I just noticed. Jesus Christ. I think that's why the back was taken off so much better. Let's fix that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm so happy this fucking thing flies. <laughs> oh my god. You know how fucking hard it is to build one of these without that fucking auto clipping or whatever the fuck it's called that lets you fly in for you thing with the alt button. It's so fucking hard. <laughs> it's so fucking hard. <laughs> okay. So, what? what, what I took off one of the, two of the engines and see if this thing flies away. I don't know if it's better to rip them off or just put limiters on them. Or maybe just adjust them while I'm in air. I'm not actually sure. One problem is, for sure, is a fuel problem. Now, because even if I can't connect a fuel tank to, say, the middle area, because I have all that damn room there, I can make it like the Dragonfly helicopter that can... Uh, you know, pick up tanks and cars and shit, or whatever, from the inside part of it. I know which one. I know you know what the dragonfly is. It's beautiful. Oh, but, uh... Um... Um... Uh... I don't know what happened, even, I somehow achieved 2.9 G's, and I don't even know what, what just happened, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is revert flight and try to get an idea of what the fuck just happened so I can fix it. Everything was so good until I took those two damn thrusters off. Or maybe it's the tilt of the engines, I don't know. Oh, you know what would be probably a good idea? To take some of the extra weight off of the, uh, what you call it? The tips of the wings? Is to move those thrusters in a little bit. Maybe like basically clipping with the wings. I don't know if that's, or the propeller blades. Okay, this style of flight. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel you there. Okay, um, okay, so just let me replay what the fuck happened. So basically, normal takeoff, right? Everything went good, it dropped. And then, shit started to hit the fan pretty quick. Okay, I didn't do it this time. Thank God. You're concerning me. You're concerning me. Thank you. Don't do that. Okay. I'm going to take control of the, this thing. Don't do anything crazy. Okay. So, stabilize. Oh my god, this thing is so easy to fly. Okay, now tilt forward. Okay. Because apparently I'm flying backwards. Okay, let me, um, let me ever fix something before I crash. Ugh. I think it's because the ass doesn't have enough throttle. It's an easy fix. Let's give you a touch more more throttle. There. there. Now that should bring my ass up. Putting me in a more... Yeah, fuel, fuel's gonna be a problem. Um, 
It's probably going to take me, and I'm not joking, another month and a half to figure out a fuel system. So if you know any possible fuel lines or engines or anything that would be more efficient and lightweight than this, please give me a holler. <laughs> like, I'm going to be stuck on this for some time. I know I am. Okay. So those engines just are not going to do what I want. And I'm going to end up overloading with, overloading with fuel. Even then, I still probably won't get the results I'm looking for. Huh, I don't know what to do. It's like, I could put a fuel tank right here, like down here, and then connect it to this. But as soon as this starts going and spinning in circles, it's going to disconnect the fuel line. And then I'm just going to have a tank sitting here for no damn reason at all. And then the only way to do it is to actually connect it to the actual component. But if I keep putting weight up here, then it's going to off balance it. So I'm not sure how exactly to go about that. I'm going to have to, I got it, I got it, I think I got it, you know that the pivot point thing you were teaching me, something about docks and the docking stuff and whatnot, maybe I could put that towards the bottom and set something right here, so let's see, let's see, I think you got an idea on that. Okay, so I need just a base, a base of any kind that will let me transfer fuel. Um, let me try, this will work fine. Let's go ahead and connect you right here. Okay. So from here, I've got to make a pivoting point to connect inside the engine. Uh, that's going to cause a little bit of friction, but it should work. Okay, um, let's see how the fuck I'm going to go about this. There's no connecting points down here, right? Let me double check. No. They're all at the top, correct? Yeah, because I built this engine from the bottom to the top. Yeah, the only points up here. So, what I can do... This is going to be a pain in the ass. I'm going to have to learn how to make a pivot right down here that connects to the bottom without any connection points. So, I guess the best way to start this would be to... Put a metal, put a connecting piece. Okay. Once got that connecting piece connected to the. I'm gonna fix that problem, trust me. First things first. I've got to connect it straight to here anywhere. That'll work. Right. So after I connect that there, I'm just going to move it around a touch. But first, I'll have to make it straight and make it a little bit easier. Trust me, man. I can build some complex ass engines. Doesn't mean. Well, that's why I wanted to skip the whole fuel line thing. That's why I'm making a pivot point. The pivot point's going to be connected, and from the pivot point, I'll be able to... Here, let me let me just start tweaking a little bit. Um, if nothing else, I can add a fuel tank from the bottom side quite easily. Right about there. That looks level. Okay. Now from there, I just need to move it over. Is 
for there. Okay, um, I don't want it to be a clip issue with anything, so... Like, I don't want it to run into anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this. And this actually you might end up making it more stable, like a gyroscope kind of idea. I guess you'd say. I'm not actually sure. But I know I don't want to put too much weight on the bottom part of this, so I'll probably just go mid tank. Okay. Okay, I gotta keep that 100% straight and level with the engine so you're gonna have to move forward yeah I'm gonna build the engine farther on the bottom side and then from there I should be able to connect it with uh, a hose from the bottom exactly that won't cause any problems with disconnecting but first things first i gotta see if this is going to be stable if i need to move it minutely left or right or any of that okay so let's try this first this is going to add overall weight to the engine just honestly i don't need to make the pivot point that big but it's me and I like everything big and over dramatic. That's why nothing fucking works. I know. <laughs> but it's a good building block for other people, you know, ideas and whatnot, what have you. So I can't actually seem to get nothing together properly. Yeah, and like I said, this should hopefully make it more stable. If nothing else. Can you say fucking stable? Holy shit, look at that motherfucker go. Now watch the back engine. See how it's kind of wobbling? Let's put SAS on that. Full throttle it. It's got a little bit of wobble. So I need to suck the... Yeah, dude, look how much of this one's wobbling compared to that front one. Oh my god, that front one's like barely wobbling. This whole back one's wobbling all over the place. See, that's what I needed to do. I needed more weight at the bottom. That's fucking brilliant right there. Oh my god, it's working better. It's actually sort of, sort of, sort of working. Like the front one's working perfect. It's not, it doesn't have much wobble. Okay, okay. This is the reason I love PSV so much. It brings out the best in us. Another with our ideas. Are you... What's your, what's your IQ, Dark Lion? You must be fucking brilliant. Are you not, like, fucking brilliant... I mean, I'm I'm not dumb. I, I'm above average a little bit. I'm more of a creator than I am anything. I love creating and, and making inventions in real life and games. But I'm not the fucking brightest one in the book. Some people have referred to me as one McNugget short of a Happy Meal. But it is still a Happy Meal, that's what I was told. Very important to remember it, it's still a Happy Meal. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so basically I just need to dupe this engine, put it on the back side, and see if it flies better. That alone right there is going to make it better. Yeah, no, I can, um, I can fully understand why, by the way. So, I really want to see some of your stuff now, like, what you can do. Because I know that you're watching me, and you're like a fucking third grader at recess time, compared to you, Mr. Einstein. I want to I see what you can do. Okay, if this works properly, I should have a more stable engine. I'm really hoping I do. 
Don't ask me why I have that dead stage in there. I just did. I prefer to do vengeance like how I've been doing, than actually go in and um, like fix it piece by piece because it's just quicker in my opinion. <laughs> I, I, I'm definitely gonna go look. I'm probably not gonna, I don't normally stream this long, because first of all, it's like, sun coming up and stuff. But, uh, I'll go look after this stream. Okay, come on baby, flip. You know what I want. Just do it. Okay, right about there should be it. Right here. Clicking. Thank you. There. So if I do this right, I shouldn't shouldn't have to tilt the engines down at all, right? If if this is an actual legit, legitimate working copter, it should be able to take off from just RPMs. Correct. I mean, kind of what it's doing, but better. See, but you probably have, you probably have the whole, okay. Yeah, you probably have the, 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 the Kerbal Space Program on the computer, and then I go to look at yours, and you make me look like a B-word, because you're, like, so much better, because you have so much more stuff to interact with. <laughs> I mean... Did I disconnect both of them? Stabilization, like you said. I was like, what the heck is doing that? <laughs> is that moving from the wind? Like, legitimate? Why is it doing that? That's cool. Okay. So I screwed up something. Uh, the computer in the back uh, engine kind of got foobarred already. I don't know why or how. See if I can give it. No, no, I'm just gonna have to restart. I don't, I don't know what blue. I don't think. But one second. No. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's sad. Uh, with all the rocket science and shit, they couldn't have put in freaking wind? And you'd think after they did all the, the coding for doing rocket science crap that they would have just, just like, oh, okay, wind, because, you know, that's simple after all the coding we just did. Nope. What would what would be a little bit of wind of the game, you know? No, but really seriously, I'm kind of happy they didn't add wind because if there is no wind, then I honestly think it'd be a lot harder to fly with wind. And there's one of my problems right here. Okay, I don't know what that last word is. Ac actuator? Yeah. You make me feel like a dumbass when I talk to you. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I'll get to learn stuff from you. <laughs> and your page is called what again? You said it's it's... Oh yeah, true, 
true. No, they didn't give those to us. It's actually really disappointing. I didn't think about it like that. I have a question, comment, or concern. Um. Okay, yeah. If I put, you know how like, uh, what is that movie? That that one movie with the like, the, I think it's like Avengers, where they had like the double. Just clicking the. What are they doing? They're swaying together now. That's good. That's really good sign. They're not doing their own Bobby thing. Okay. Pop it. No. No, go down. The front, the back's not lifting up. Oh no. No. Oh. Uh. Yes. It's, I think it's because I'm not in the pilot seat. Ah. Uh. Oh my god, is, are the back ones hitting the ground? Yes, they are. No! I was doing so well. So much better than before. The ass is just gonna grind till the front smacks into the ground, create. God. Oh, the Avengers? Um, sorry about that. Uh, the. I was gonna say. Like, you know how I had the, uh. The, uh. Here, let me just go to Space Hanger. See if I can do it. Like, they had the, the top engine. It was, like, one engine, but, like, the top part was spinning one way and the bottom blades were spinning a different way on the exact same engine. Could I do that with the same rotating engine? Like, say, if I was to come up onto one of these things right here. And then... Or it would probably have to be another engine, otherwise it wouldn't be spinning the opposite direction. And like put... Wait, you can do that? How? Off of, like off of this bottom thing? Could I do it off of there? Or would it have to be a complete another engine, like the same engine right here, but below it and upside down? Oh, okay, so what you're telling me is yes, I can do it, but it's just like a slew of more fucking problems and balancing issues and so forth and so on. That's what I'm getting from this. That, that doesn't make me happy. Another engine separate of the craft. Wait, what? I couldn't keep. Okay, so basically, let me try to master one of these helicopters first before I move on to one of those, right? <laughs> That amount makes sense. I'm gonna go ahead and save the Mark II. Just Mark II. Save. Yeah. So this is gonna be the Mark II Chinook. I'm gonna go ahead and close it off here. I'm gonna go check out your page, see what's all good in the hood. Thank you again for joining me. If you liked it, please hit the like button. And any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it in the questions, comments, or concerns box. And thank you so much again for joining me.